the mystery surrounding Cleopatra's mysterious tomb has been revived by the groundbreaking discovery of an underground tunnel connecting to underground chambers close to Alexandria, Egypt. The ruins of Tempra, Cyrus Magna, were the site of this amazing discovery by the archaeologists who discovered antique coins, statues, and other relics from Cleopatra's time. Could Cleopatra and her family have used this tunnel as a secret exit? Speculations run wild as experts consider the possibility that her tomb might still be concealed within the intricate underground system. The shocking revelation has sparked new debate regarding Cleopatra's fate and the relevance of her ultimate resting place in the historical world. Additionally, the mystery is made even more complex by the finding of Cleopatra's box. Its existence raises the possibility of a most sinister past due to the presence of the remains of a sacred animal, which was thought to have protected abilities for the dead. As the historical piece comes together, our imagination soars, causing us to wonder what secrets are hidden inside this antique box. At the Temple of Tampa, Cyrus Magna in Alexandria, Egypt, an Egyptian Dominican archaeological mission produced a noteworthy find. They have discovered a massive tunnel with a length of 4,281 feet under Kathleen Martini's direction. As an underwater archaeologist, excitement has been sparked by this discovery since it may point to the Cleopatra's tomb and the remarkable golden tongued mummy. The unique burial customs of the royal houses in ancient Egypt are revealed by the golden tongue, a sign of prestige and a means of communication with the gods. This tunnel that goes back to Cleopatra's rule has the possibility of revealing long buried mysteries, including a mummy that is almost 2000 years old. A remarkable mummy from ancient Egypt was discovered and its foil-like golden tongue popped out. The mummy has no supernatural powers despite being dead. The interesting temple to Osiris, the respected deity of the underworld, was found right next to it. Because of this important discovery, archaeologists now think that the mummy may have been an important priest or a priestess of Osiris. The Temple of Osiris, which was in charge of keeping mummies safe and secure, was highly regarded by Greek officials in Egypt. Tampu Osiris Magna, which had previously been a little town, became notable during the Ptolemaic era as a result of his closeness to the temple, this amazing discovery underscores the significance of the mummy's golden tongue in ancient Egyptian society and offers insightful information about the rich heritage of the Ptolemaic dynasty, which governed Egypt for nearly 300 years. The most recent finds provided new insights into ancient Egyptian beliefs regarding the afterlife and burial customs. Theories of contact with Osiris the god of the underworld are sparked by the interesting existence of the golden tongue. The ancient Egyptians frequently buried artifacts in tombs to facilitate the afterlife trip because they thought the dead could communicate with the gods. This amazing discovery highlights Egypt's rich past and captures the attention of viewers. Two other mummies that were entered in the wooden coffins that provided unique insights into the preservation techniques are among the upcoming spectacular discoveries. Even more fascinating revelations are yet to emerge as history's chapter continue to unroll. The discovery of the mummy with the golden tongue set off one of the most exciting events. Kathleen Martinez set out on a personal quest to solve the mystery surrounding Cleopatra after being inspired by this discovery. Martinez independently funded her exploration of Egypt because she believed she might be Cleopatra's reincarnation and that Cleopatra's tomb was concealed under a burial shaft at a temple honoring the god of Osiris or Isis. Because of her past connections to Osiris and Isis, Martinez came up with a convincing theory that fueled her quest to Cleopatra's final resting place. Finding the right temple became important since in her opinion, it held the key to finding Cleopatra's mummified remains and perhaps those of her consort as well. Kathleen Martinez was driven by a steadfast faith in that finding the right temple was the key to revealing the location of Cleopatra's tomb. The close ties between Cleopatra and Mark Antony and Egypt further strengthened Martini's resolve. Her journey was made more interesting by chance meeting with Dr. Zahi Hawass, a renowned Egyptologist and Egypt's Minister of Antiquities. Martini's working with Dr. Hawass was successful in obtaining a special permit that gave her two months of unrestricted access to numerous temples. With the help of this amazing accomplishment, she was able to investigate historical artifacts in an effort to locate the temple that might have the answers she was looking for.
Independent scholars encountered many obstacles, but Martini's tenacious pursuit overcame them, making her journey really unique. Kathleen Martini's attained the uncommon permissions required for her exploration through steadfast resolve and a strong network. She unexpectedly made a groundbreaking find a pregnant mummy. Her voyage was forever changed by this amazing discovery, which also cemented her reputation in archaeological history. Beyond the Cleopatra project, Kathleen Martini's worked on other archaeological projects. Her important finding of two previously undiscovered rooms inside the Tampa Cyrus Magna Temple turned out to be an outstanding accomplishment. During a 2016 interview, Martini's underlined the breadth and complexity of her research, downplaying the two-month timeline and emphasizing the demand for perseverance and commitment in genuine breakthroughs. Unrestricted access to several locations allowed her to uncover hidden rooms, confirming her suspicions that one of them might be shared resting place of Mark Anthony and Cleopatra, and adding another significant accomplishment to Martini's successful career. Through her relentless persistence, Dr. Kathleen Martinez persuaded the University of San Domenico to contribute money to support upcoming archaeological digs at Tampa Cyrus Magna. Meanwhile, the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities revealed a remarkable discovery. A tunnel with striking architectural similarities to Greece's Eupolinus Tunnel. Researchers were captivated by these discoveries, which stroked speculations about the ties that existed between Greece and Egypt in antiquity. The relevance of these discoveries were highlighted by Dr. Martini's observations, which also hinted at possible consequences for our comprehension of past civilization. We look forward to learning more about the similarities between the Egyptian and Greek tunnels. When more research is conducted, Martini's team cemented its position in archaeological history in 2005, when they accomplished the amazing accomplishment of becoming the first Latin American archaeologist to be granted authorization for excavations in Egypt. Martini's, the team's leader, expertly managed their activities to ensure that their exploration was focused and successful. The location of Cleopatra's enigmatic burial site are still unknown, making the search for them a mystery. The suspense is increased by the ambiguity surrounding Martini's ultimate success in locating them, but her groundbreaking work has already changed the course of history and left a lasting impression. The temple at Tampus Cyrus Magna complicates the quest for Cleopatra's burial site. Even though tangible proof is missing, our interest and imagination are still sparked by Martini's trip. She pushes the envelope with each archaeological investigation, unraveling the secret of ancient civilization and redefining our perception of the past. We are truly motivated by Martini's pioneering spirit, as we are eagerly anticipating fresh finds and honor her significant contributions to archaeology. No matter what happens in her search for Cleopatra's final resting place, her dedication and trailblazing work have left a lasting mark. Martini's is well known for being a true pioneer in her field of study, and the tunnel she discovered was filled with historically valuable objects. A pair of alabaster sculptured heads discovered in a cave close to the temple was one of the noteworthy finds. The Ptolemaic period's one head belonged to a person, and the other portrayed Abu, a beast from Egyptian mythology. Coins with the names and likeliness of Anthony and Cleopatra was also discovered during a previous excavation at the same location. The the fact that the coins were found near to where the alabaster heads were found further adds to the discovery's mystery. These discoveries provided an enthralling window into the Tampa Cyrus Magna site's wrist heritage and cultural significance. Significant artifacts have been discovered under Martini's innovative leadership, considerably enhancing our understanding of this historical location and exciting the imagination of academics and amateurs alike. Statues of the goddess Isis were also found, adding to the growing collection of priceless treasures. We are getting closer to discovering the mysteries hidden within the amazing Tampa Cyrus Magna site. Because of Martini's and her team's relentless efforts to shed light on the past, ancient coins from Cleopatra's time that were discovered are among the treasures, and they may contain a bust of the famous monarch. Additionally, evidence suggests that the temple was built under the important Egyptian dynasty of Ptolemy IV, which ruled from 221 BC to 204 BC. These discoveries cause a great deal of enthusiasm, even though the truth is still unknown. We sincerely hope you liked viewing today's video and experiencing the thrill of Martini's amazing discovery. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content similar to this.